Bioengineering is more of a broad term, so what we're really focusing on the bioengineering team is synthetic biology. Synthetic biology is pretty much like taking biology and standardizing it so that everybody can use different parts. Like in a toolbox, it's like interchangeable parts so we can go back and use it again. So if somebody creates something, then they can standardize it to make it so somebody else can use it for another invention, which is what we're kind of doing with our project and we're going to add to that toolbox of synthetic biology and to the broader term bioengineering. Using synthetic biology, the Middletown High School bioengineering team has developed a way to save the honeybees. The team is targeting the wax moth with the hopes that killing off this predator will increase the honeybee population. Alright, so everyone has a really lazy uncle that comes over, leaves trash everywhere, and leaves the house in utter chaos. Now imagine your uncle is a wax moth, and that's what the problem is. So we're taking a gene from the wax moth, uh, the P-band gene, um, which produces, which when ingested by the wax moth, um, causes them to produce pheromones, which attract more moths. Um, so we are going to transform this P-band gene into E. coli, and then use the E. coli to grow the P-band. Once we grow the P-band, we can put it in sugar water, which will help us set a trap for wax moths. You can help too. The team needs to raise at least $4,000 in order to bring their plan to life. You can donate now so that you can save the bees. Go to the website on your screen or scan the white box in the left corner.